Well, time now is 6.06. .06. As more North Alabama companies are coming back online, one in particular is being called the gold standard in the way it's built in protocols to protect its 1,400 employees. Toyota Alabama is what we're talking about. They reopened their doors to their workers, but not without some major changes. Mm -hmm. Joining us now by phone is the president of Toyota Alabama, David Finch. David, good morning. Morning, Pat. Morning, Marie. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Thanks so much for being uh, here with us. First day back to work yesterday. How did everything go? Well, it went exceptionally well, uh, Pat. I must say, I was, I was very pleased with, firstly, the turnout. Uh, the turnout was exceptional. <clears throat> and then, the, you know, the adherence to, you know, all of the um, uh, things that we put in place. Uh, you know, all of the initiatives that we, we, we put in place, right from the team member survey to the temperature checking to the social distancing, no, it all went exceptionally smoothly. You know, I was really, really pleased with um, the efforts of everybody and, and the adherence. You, you mentioned the temperature checking before they get in. So they also have to submit a questionnaire about their symptoms when they arrive there at the facility. Were there any employees that maybe did not return to work yesterday because of concerns with the virus? So we, we did have uh, four people that did not, they, they already had submitted the survey uh, mentioning that they, they had a, uh, an issue or they had a concern. Um, and then the protocol is for them to stay away until they've been tested. Um, so, there, you know, the, the occurrence of that was very, very low. <clears throat> but we had no uh, people with uh, elevated temperatures yesterday. Every, everybody was uh, perfect. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the playbook, playbook that you have for yeah. employees returning and uh, how they have to train for this essentially new normal for working there at the facility. Well, that return to work playbook is, is primarily around you know the team members uh, returning to work safely, and it covers a host of things. There's, you know, the, the as, as you touched on, there's the survey that we have to do. Um, there's the protocols that, that we will have in place when the team members arrive, which they, they saw yesterday. It all highlights all the different changes and adaptions that we've made in the plant uh, for the team members to be able to maintain social distancing, uh, whether it's uh, at, the, at the restrooms, uh, in, the, in the cafeterias, in the group houses, or even in their processes. Um, it, it highlights the, the changes to the, to the personal protective equipment that we've, we've developed and established. Uh, to allow the team members to work safely. And there's a whole host of, of, of elements in that return to work playbook around uh, adhering to the CDC guidelines and, and making sure that you know, they can, can be safe while they're at work. David, we're sharing some video right now of when I toured the facility recently there. Really appreciate that. I was there with some local leaders, and I noticed the, the plexiglass partitions that separate those employees in the break areas and the, on the assembly floor and so on. And we noticed the challenge with communicating from one employee to the other. You, you addressed it then. How did these employees overcome that with some, and any other challenges that you have out there? Well, to be honest with you, you know, yesterday we could really see it firsthand when the people were on the breaks and they were in their group houses being trained um, uh, and, and when they were having their, their, you know, the cafeteria breaks. And to be honest with you, they were, they were communicating fine. The processes, we will only really start producing engines uh, Thursday, Friday. But this first couple of days is going to be focusing on the team member safety. And we expect that we will have possibly more feedback on the, on the process dividers, which you saw. Um, and again, you know, our philosophy is continuous improvement. As we get feedback, we make changes and modifications that will, one, protect the employees, but also, you know, make it more comfortable uh, for them. But to be honest with you, the plexiglass dividers that we've had in both the group houses and in the cafeterias, the eating spaces, were very, very well received. That, you know, they could comfortably um, communicate, eat, and, you know, it, it didn't feel too, too restrictive. Well, certainly uh, when Mayor Tommy Battle is calling you folks the gold standard of what other businesses should look like, you're doing something right there. And we appreciate you joining us this morning, the president of Toyota Alabama, David Finch. Thank you, David. No, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Time now is 610 on your Tuesday morning.